welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this dramatic look right here involving glitter and all. I thought this would be fun for prom or, you know, on a daily basis, you know, because me, I'm about to go ride my motorcycle and I'm going to have glitter on my eyes. Ask me if I care. Nope, nope, don't care at all. But if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching and keep in mind that glitter is not safe for the eyes. So if you do this, do it at your own risk. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna start off by priming the skin where I need to. I have a whole lot of skincare on, that's why my face is a little shiny. So I'm going to first go in with MAC Skin Refine Zone on my pores, a little bit on my chin, and up on my forehead, and a tiny bit on my nose. This is where I tend to get oily, so this really, really helps to block that oil from coming through. And it's also a treatment, so it helps to clean out the pores. So that's kind of nice. Now I also need a little smoothing in those areas, so I'm going to use my Dior Pore Minimizer. You could also use something like the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer and Smoothing. I typically use that one, but it seems to be like at the end of it, it's not, I don't know, it's not working the same at the end of the bottle. So I'm going back in with this guy. Last step in priming, I'm going to use my lip primer from MAC. I like to go ahead and do this now, just so that when it comes time to actually put the lipstick on, I'm already ready, because you do kind of have to let this set up a little bit. And this helps to smooth out the lips, it helps it to make the lipstick last longer, and if you're wearing a matte lipstick, this makes it feel so much more comfortable. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This is 24 hour wear. It's not going to budge on you for prom. I know a lot of girls get ready earlier in the day and they still need their makeup to last all night. This is your boo. This is how much I put on my Petri dish. This is probably still too much. A little goes a long way. And I am in the shade NC20 and I'm going to grab my damp beauty blender and I'm going to start pouncing this all on my skin. Like that one little dip will do like this whole side of my face. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with NARS Radiant Creamy and I am in Chantilly Light One. This one is going to be good for people who want coverage. I personally like the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay better, but for prom, I can see how some people would want some more coverage. So, not that the Naked one doesn't have good coverage because it does, but this one just has more. But I'm just going to go underneath my eyes and then highlight my high points of my face with it. And then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm gonna go in and really brighten up the under eyes and I'm using Hourglass Ethereal Light and my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to grab this and place it everywhere that I put that concealer and you'll see how much brighter it makes it. And it's gonna look crazy in the beginning, but then when you add in the powder and the bronzer, everything starts to even itself out. I just love this powder to create a really bright under eye. I just think it's beautiful, especially for prom and you're gonna be in dimmer lights. Really brightening up your face like that is gonna make it look extra glowy and beautiful. For the rest of my face, I'm going to set it using the La Mer V powder. Now I know this is expensive powder, so if you want to use something else, go ahead. I highly suggest the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Love that powder. It will add a little bit more coverage, but it's really beautiful. But this one is my favorite powder that I have been using the most lately. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to pop it on the face. And this is just like a limited edition brush. Some of my other ones are dirty, so I'm just popping it on with this guy. See all the powder coming up? <laughs> if you'll notice though, I was patting the powder in and I wasn't buffing, because if you buff right away before you have truly set the foundation, it'll move the foundation. So you want to pat any powder you put on your face first and then your bronzer and stuff you can buff in because you've already set it with a powder. For bronzer, I'm going to use Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light and a MAC 135. I love this because it creates such a beautiful luminous finish, but it's not glittery, it's not obnoxious or anything. I'm just going to dust this all over where I normally bronze, so kind of like a little three. 
And then I always go down the sides of my nose with the extra. I don't like dip in and then go on top because then you look crazy. And then underneath my lip a little bit. Now I'm gonna go do my brows off camera. <laughs> I feel like it's uninteresting. Um, but I am gonna use something different. I've been using this a lot lately. This is the Velvet Stone Velvet Luxe Brow Pencil from MAC. Been really digging this. So I'm gonna use this in some clear brow set and I'll be right back. All right, so brows are done and I also went ahead and primed my eyes. I used MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And now I'm gonna go in with this palette from Manny MUA Makeup Geek. You either love this palette or you hate it, but I will tell you I'm going to give you a MAC dupes. So I'm going to use the shade and I'm going to tell you if you want to, you can use MAC so and so, okay? So I'm going to start off by using Artemis and you could totally use MAC nylon for this. And I'm using a MAC 242 and I'm putting this right at the arch of the brow and then lightly buffing it a little downward. I do this because it's going to match up with the transition shade and then those two will blend together and then just this little peak of highlight will be left. Same shade and same brush and I'm going to go all on this inner corner here and kind of about halfway in. Make sure you get the full inner corner right here though. Now I'm gonna go in with the 217 and Beaches and Cream. If you have MAC Bamboo, that will work as well. And I'm gonna use this as a transition shade. So I'm going right into the crease and then buffing it upward. This isn't super pigmented, so you don't have to worry about making a mess with it. But I still kinda of go in little circular motions just in case to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Same brush, and I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek Sora, and then MAC Saddle would be the option for this one. And I'm going to place this right directly into the crease. I am not using a lot of pressure when I'm applying this because I don't want it to be so def like spread out. So I'm using just the tip of the brush to first apply this into the crease. And then once I get the product down is when I will start kind of buffing it upward. And I'm pointing my brush upward and just kind of flicking it to blend that out a little bit. Now I'm switching brushes to a MAC 221 because I want it to be a little bit more precise now. And I'm going to grab a Frappe. Um, for MAC, I'd probably use something like um, Swiss chocolate, but I'd probably mix Swiss chocolate and like cork or something. But honestly, I think Swiss chocolate would be a little bit better because it'd be a little deeper than this. But I'm going to take Frappe and go directly into the crease. I'm kind of going to build this up using light pressure and going directly into the crease. I'm not really going to blend this up. So don't apply too much and just take your time and lightly go start carving out the crease with this. And right here, I kind of blend all this out right here. So I place the brush and just kind of wiggle it a little bit. Now I'm going to go back in with my MAC 242 and grab Insomnia. Now this one is going to be closest to either MAC Club or MAC Blue Brown Pigment. So with those, I would want to spray them and make them more intense. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to pat this on the outer corner. And then lightly drag it over so that it blends into that other shade. But the majority of the product are on the, on the outer edge. I'm going to go back in with that 221 and a little bit more Insomnia. Make sure you tap off as much as you can so you don't get fallout all over your face and then go right into the crease just to kind of bring that shade into the crease, but not too heavily. Okay, now here comes the fun part. So if you've already done your makeup, make sure that you've got a tissue or paper towel, something ready to go underneath your eye to catch any fallout, and then some glitter glue. I'm going to go in with Max Reflex Glitter in Reflex Teal. This stuff is so gorgeous. Now for this, I like to use something that's a little bit more precise. So I'm using a Wayne Goss number seven. A MAC 228 will work really well as well, just because it's so small. Um, and then I'm gonna take the Too Faced Glitter Glue and that brush, and I'm gonna apply a little bit on there, like so. And then I'm going to go 
right on this inner corner and then tap out. So about three quarters of the way. And then I'm gonna go in with my glitter glue and my, not my glitter glue, my glitter and a 242. Make sure you have your under eye covered up and then just tap this on. Oh my God. I just can't, oh my Lord, that is so pretty. But then I'm also going to intensify insomnia a little bit. So I got a 239 and just going right on the edge again and blending right into the glitter. Now I do want to re-intensify this inner corner a little bit. And so I'm just going back in with a little bit more of Artemis. And now I'm going to go do a winged liner and I'll be right back because I can't, I just can't do it on camera. It doesn't work out for me. So I'll be right back. While I was off camera, I decided to go ahead and put my lashes on because I really don't do very well at putting those on camera as well. So I used the Salon Perfect number 610 and I added a little bit of mascara to them because I felt like they weren't enough. But that's how that looks. And now we're going to go to the lower lash line and I'm going to grab Sora on a NARS pencil brush. And again, the dupe with MAC would be uh, Saddle. And I'm just running this from outer and button it up to where Artemis is in that inner corner. Then I'm gonna grab the deepest shade, same brush, Aphrodite. And you could use something like MAC Embark. And I'm just going to kind of buff this on the outer corner here, just to kind of make it more seamless with the eye up top. And then for the inner waterline, I'm going to use Match Chromographic Pencil in NC15 and W20. And this just helps to brighten up the eye, make it look a little bit bigger, more awake. And then make sure you coat your lower lashes with mascara. And I'm using Max Extended Play in Giga Black. Now I'm going to contour and I'm going to use MAC Taupe Blush and a Wayne Goss number no. 2 brush. And I'm just going to lightly kind of sculpt out the cheekbones, add a little bit on the forehead and down the sides of my nose. And underneath the lip. And then going underneath your lip will make it look like you have a little bit more of a pout. It's like a shadow. And then right along the jawline. And now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite new blushes. This is Ray Beam, and this is from the MAC Future MAC Collection. And I'm going to pop this on my cheeks. I'm using a Tom Ford cheek brush. You do not have to. I just like the way this thing feels on my skin. It's like super duper soft. And then lastly, I'm going to take a little bit of the La Mer powder on my 182 and just buff this into the skin. This makes your skin look airbrushed and it really blends everything in makes it look a lot less harsh for my highlight I'm going to go in with something I've never used before and I guess we're about to find out if it works or if I like it or not this is Aurora from Urban Decay and I'm just going to grab that on my Wayne Goss number three brush I'm going to grab some of this go right on top of the cheek eh. This is very powdery. Tip of the nose, a little bit on the higher part of the bridge of the nose. I am going to put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. Let's see how it looks after I really press it into the skin. So I'm taking my Max Fix Plus and I'm dampening my Beauty Blender again, kind of squeezing the product into it, kind of sucks up the Fix Plus. And then tapping off the extra on my hand and then going right over that highlight. It kind of takes away a little bit of the powder, powderiness and goes, sinks the product in better. And then I'll be able to tell you for real if I like it or not. I don't know if I'm sold on that highlight. I like the color of it. Um, it's just very powdery, but 
I don't know. Now I'm gonna go in with a setting spray and this isn't necessarily necessary. I just like to use this to help to push all the powders into my skin while still prolonging the makeup, but the waterproof makeup is not going anywhere. So this is the Chill Makeup Setting Spray. If you're oily, use the All Miter. For lipstick, I'm going to use Bite Beauty Sake. I'm sure you guys will tell me how that's pronounced because I'm just guessing here. And this is just, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. I have just got it and I haven't used it before, so. All right, guys, that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.